Now, most kids in high school search for a place of normalcy, but for El Paso Gridley's Declan Dooley, it's been anything but that. El Paso Gridley kicking star Declan Dooley's time in high school has been anything but ordinary. I've not had a, a regular year yet of high school. And this year is no different. He's graduating early to enroll at the University of Illinois this spring, where he's committed to be their punter. The main reason for uh, graduating early and enrolling early at U of I was so that I can get acclimated into the college life. COVID-19 upended his first years at UHI, but then he transferred to EPG in the middle of his junior year due to family health problems. My mom went blind uh, in October of last year. Uh, in originally her right eye, eventually both eyes, but then back to just her right eye. I was, already, I was driving 30 minutes to school every day. Being able to be only five minutes away from home uh, helped tremendously. Declan and his family had to find workarounds for his recruiting trips. Mom couldn't fly because of her eye until July. Uh, so she was on the no fly list for then. And so, I mean, I visited down in Miami. So we had to drive all the way down there. So I think we took three trips down to Miami. That alone shows me what my parents are willing to do for me. Declan already has a taste of what it's like being away from home. Being in Alabama with one-on-one -on -one kicking, uh, I stay there for the for the summer and down in Birmingham. The idea of what it will be like and what it will kind of look like for me. Even so, he knows what his biggest adjustment will be. I think mom, mom not being there. I, uh, I mean, it's just the, it's the truth. As Michigan State fans, his mom's side of the family will have to get used to cheering for the orange and blue. They'll cheer when I'm on the field, I'm sure. Uh, maybe not. I mean, it is what it is. They, they still love me. Shelby, I know you cringed on the Michigan State fan part. That's all right. A beautiful story, <laughs> nonetheless. Unfortunately